Ah. Oh wow. 24 ounces. We are in Mexico City, about to experience professional wrestling here. They call it Lucha Libre. In no way are either of us fans of pro wrestling, but we've heard this is something you can't miss when you come to Mexico City. We're standing just outside of Arena Mexico. We're about to head in. We don't have tickets, uh, so we have to get the tickets. I also want to buy a mask because I wear masks. All right, what kind of mask am I feeling? We've got a lot of options. I don't know how much this stuff costs. The question is, can my big head fit one of these masks? I think it can. I don't know. It's only 100 pesos. <laughs> it's like five bucks. How do I look? Do I look good? Great. Ah, I got my mask. Now we need some tickets. I want the best seats money can buy. How much will that cost? That's a good question. I think we want Fila one through three, 450 pesos. That's like 20 bucks a ticket. And I'm assuming that means rows one through three, hopefully, because that would be awesome. Honestly, where in the U.S. can you enjoy professional sports for like 20 bucks a ticket in the front row? But don't get me wrong, you can buy NBA tickets for nothing when a team's terrible. Same thing with Major League Baseball. Probably the same thing with hockey. I don't know. I'm not a hockey fan. Uh, uh, dos, fila, one, uh, uno, tres. Tickets have been acquired. I have no idea what we got, what we have. I just said, I looked up how to say best seats in Spanish and then I told her that because she told me that rings one, uh, row one through three was sold out, unfortunately. But And then they gave us this little form here, I guess. This is who's wrestling tonight. All right, we're in Arena, Mexico. This place is rocking, ready for Lucha Libre in Mexico City. Woo. Look at this. pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. That's us. All right, so this is Arena Mexico. I read online that this was the best place to catch Lucha Libre, and this specific, the people who run this one, CMLL, you can see the logo right there. That's like the best to see, I think. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty nice little arena. Oh, and it's color, it's got the red, blue, green. That's pretty cool. I'm easily entertained. We're on the hunt for cerveza. I feel like this is an event where you need to have the drinks flowing. We have found the cerveza stand. Is it? Oh, it's a cocktail. Oh, wow. 24 ounces? 24 ounces of Tecate with this stuff running down the side of it. Some lemonade. Some stuff sprinkled on top. That guy right there holding that thing up right now is walking around with a giant bag of Domino's pizzas, selling them. And that person has uh, uh, ramen and a whole list of things. Whatever is in this is spicy. It's making the beer spicy. Not a bad thing, but it tastes good. I mean, it's not bad. many people in the ring right now. There's like seven people, seven or eight. <laughs> oh! Oh! Something. <laughs> I 
I think I want to quit my job and become a Luce Libre wrestler. I think I'm going to. New career. <laughs> All right, we are back in the hotel. What in the evening? The toilets in Arena Mexico didn't have toilet seats and they also didn't have toilet paper in them. I wasn't trying to do anything like that, but I just thought it was interesting. Uh, anyways, that's gonna wrap it up. It was a fun time. If you're coming to Mexico City, definitely check out Lucha Libre. Can't recommend it enough. It was a blast and it was a cheap way to spend Friday night. On that note, I'm gonna end this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.